And it's always nice to sit with you when we just won the uh, Premiership title. Sport is one of those rare fields where if you succeed, you can see something tangible as rewards for your efforts. How proud are you of your team and your staff for the job they've done in winning back-to-back -back titles? Yeah, outstanding. Um, you know, I just think the, the levels the lads have reached this year in terms of performance, um, sort of the results uh, speak for themselves. You know, you don't end up uh, champions unless you've been really consistent. Um, but just the level of performance being outstanding and uh, it's a credit to all of them uh, coming off the success of last year and knowing and, and challenging them to be better than they were. Um, they've certainly accomplished that and uh, they did it in, 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 in some style, which, um, yeah, as, uh, as I said after the game, makes me feel very proud. The performance on Saturday, while insignificant in terms of the destination of the title, must have pleased you as well. Yeah, nothing's insignificant. You know, everything's part of the journey and, and part of the story. And, uh, you know, we we had a really nice trophy day last year and, and we wanted to make the experience good this year. Um, I just thought the whole day was fantastic from, from you know, when we arrived at the ground and, and Martin sort of leading us up with the trophy. And then, uh, you know, walking out to that display, you know, by the fans was just outstanding. And then, you know, the players did their bit. I think the performance kind of encapsulated everything we've been this year, you know. We were exciting, we were, you know, we were hard working, we were relentless and, and the quality of our goals were brilliant. That's two trophies won so far this season. The potential third with the Scottish Cup final this Saturday at Hamden. What will the plans be this week in terms of leading up to the match? Yeah, look, you know, um, it's kind of been a little bit weird in that, you know, we obviously, we won the title uh, a few weeks back and, and I'm sure in the back of the players' minds, they probably had two games, uh, trophy day in this cup final that, had their sights on to be ready to go. And uh, we saw on the weekend, you know, they, they, they got their performance levels back to where they were. So this week would be just about having a really good preparation. Um, you know, there's always extra demands on, on, on everyone, you know, with cup final. But again, we know it's a great day and, um, you know, it's one you want to be a part of. We weren't last year. And to be honest, I didn't watch it because, you know, um, you want to be there and, um, you know, we want to be part of the occasion and up to us to perform. Playing teams domestically three or four times a season in the Premiership can sometimes make the opposition a bit over-familiar, but Inverness, Caledonia and Thistle are a team we haven't faced as a club since 2017. It'll be your first time against the Highlanders. What do you know about them? Yeah, look, like, like every other team, you know, we, we, we've scouted them for, you know, since we know they were going to be our opponent. And, uh, you know, it's a bit of a weird one for them. They won't have had a game for close to a month by the time the Cup final comes around. And, you know, I'm sure they've been working away and having... You know, bounce games when they can, but um, look, you know, like I said, it's it's a different opponent for us. Um, but uh, irrespective, it's a cup final. You know, the, the, who the opponent is becomes secondary to the fact that you know that you need to perform on the day, and if you do, there's a massive reward at the end of it. Some people are saying Premiership champions against a team in the Championship should be a walkover. What do you say to them? Well, the people I've spoken to at this club don't tell me that. They tell me about the last result against them, which um, you know. Um, makes you realise that, um, you know, if you're not on it on the day, that uh, you can be beaten and, and there's just consequences to that. And uh, I can assure you that no one, um, you know, within the building here um, is going in with anything other than the approach. We've got to be at our absolute best to win on the day. We don't like making assumptions and I'm sure there'll be no talk of trebles within the dressing room. For the fans, though, it doesn't get much bigger than winning all three trophies. And I, I don't think there's a club in world football who have done it eight times. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful sunny day with Hamden packed out in green and white. How much are you looking forward to, to experiencing all that with the fans? Yeah, look, looking forward to the occasion. Hamden's, you know, we've had some, you know, already some great experiences as a group there. And, um, you know, again, our part in that is to, to prepare well and make sure we... We perform once the whistle's gone because you know, that's what makes it truly a memorable day, a special day. And um, yeah, you know, that's where the boys' focus is. And uh, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll prepare each day to make sure we're ready um, come kickoff that uh, we can be at our best.